When you have a database or a record set in Excel with messy and incomplete records, how can you automatically fix them by using Excel VBA? That's the issue of this video. In this case, we have a database that looks very messy, very inconsistent capitalization. But what is worse, there is a lot wrong in column C. This looks like marketing. So here I tried to count how many people were in marketing and I found zero. How come? Because there is no marketing in here. There is marketing space. And here was space, marketing and probably another space at the end. So we have to fix all of this. You probably know that in Excel you have two functions that can do that for you. First there is the trim function that takes all the spaces out of words at the beginning and at the end. And there is a proper function that does a correct capitalization. The first character capitalized and the rest lowercase. After you do that, you would get a, a very nice database. And it found that marketing has two counts and planning has five. Now it's correct. Uh, not only count if has this problem, VLOOKUP has that problem, some if, some ifs, index functions, they all have that problem. So it's important to clean up your data set of records. You need to know one more thing. How do we know that this is the database and that it ends in that empty column and that empty row? The current region knows that. It looks where is your active cell anywhere in this database and it looks for the boundaries, empty rows, empty columns, and it calls that the current region. We are going to use that current region in VBA. Let's call the subroutine or macro messy database and sub. We declare a variable of the range type, O cell. And we are going to say in the current region of the active cell, don't forget active cell, otherwise it doesn't know where to locate the current region. That is a bunch of cells. And we are going to loop through that bunch of cells with a for each loop by using O cell of the range type. Close your loop and apply your first function. Say to O cell, give me the trimmed version of what is now in O cell by using the trim function from the worksheet functions in Excel. We do that also with the proper function. However, there is one little problem with trim and proper. They return text, strings. In other words, if you happen to do this to a number, it's not a number anymore, it has become text, so you cannot calculate with that number anymore. So we need a line before we do all of this, we check whether it's numeric. If it's not numeric, then we can do all of this. Otherwise, please don't do it. Then we will tackle another issue. We have a nice database here. The user who made this was very smart and did not repeat that plate number to avoid typos and it's very time consuming. The same with the analyst. That is nice, but if you ever want to sort by a certain column, let's say column C, what is going to happen? You will not see anymore what comes with that Ford 42.5, what the plate ID is and what the analyst is. So we have a real problem. So what should we do? We should fill those empty cells automatically. You probably know that you can do that in Excel with the go to special feature, the blanks. Select all the blanks. And once we have selected all the blanks, we can put a formula in there. How do you do that in Visual Basic? You use the special cells option of the cell type blanks that mimics this step. And then we are going to put a formula in there that is going to look in all the blank cells and say what is in the cell above me? What is in the cell above me? What is in the cell above me? And it does that for the entire sheet so you end up with a regular record set. Let's call this subroutine or macro blanks. We declare two variables this time, both of the range type. This is of all the selected cells of the blanks. And this one is for individual cells. 
From now on we will talk to the current region again of the active cell. Don't forget to close your WIF statement. And we are going to set O selected of the range type to the special cells of the current region dot special cells and the special cells of the blank type. This sounds great, however there is one problem. If you ever had done this already, there are no blank cells left. So this cannot be set, you will get an error message. So we need to make sure that there are no that there are still blank cells left. Worksheet function, the count blank function that you know from Excel, on all the cells from the current region, don't forget that dot, otherwise it checks all the cells on the sheet. If that is zero, then exit sum. And we need to do a little more. What do we need to do next? We have to put a formula in there. The easiest way of doing that is using the R1C1 notation. How does R1C1 work? Say we are in cell B11, that is called the active cell. B11 is the, the A1 notation, not an R1C1 notation. If you use R1C1, what does that mean? You are actually in the first row and the first column, which is A1. If you use RC, then it says use the same row and the same column as where you are, B11. If you say R one row down in the same column, you will be in B12, or you are referring to B12. One row up, one column to the left, A10, and some R2C through R, one row up in the same column, you feel it coming, that is some B2 through B10. That's the notation we are going to use in our subroutine. We had this already. Now we are going to set O selected formula R1C1 property to equals the literal string equals R one row up in the same column. That does that for all the blank cells. Look in the cell above you. But there is a formula in those cells now. So once you start sorting, those cells move to another position and will adjust their references. So we need to loop through all the selected cells. You cannot do a pay special value because pay special value is only possible on contiguous cells and these cells may not border each other. So I have to use a for each loop again, close the loop and just reset the formula R1C1 to the value. Let's see how the code works. Here is the messy database. I'm going to use the shortcut Control Shift M and it should do its job immediately. The marketing is now two people. Marketing, marketing, everything is cleaned up. The capitalization is beautiful. Everything is done well. And then we had the blanks one. We have blank cells in here. The Control Shift B macro should fix that in a split second. And every cell now there has a real value in it and no longer the reference is cell above me. You want to know more about all of this probably. I developed a CD-ROM, more than 1500 slides, and it discusses all these subjects very extensively and it will guide you through the process. It has questions, interactive questions in between to make sure you you understood everything properly, correctly. And if you want to find where is that Excel VBA CD, you can either go to MrExcel.com or Amazon.com. Just type my name in the search box, Gerard Verschuren, and you will find all these tools and the ones I developed besides books and CDs. I wish you good luck.